Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today we're going to do the follow-up to this question, backspace string compare. Last time, the time complexity was big O of m plus n, and the space complexity was also big O of m plus n, where m is the length of s and n is the length of t, but this time we're going to reduce the space complexity to constant, big O of 1. So backspace string compare, it says, given two strings s and t, return if they are equal when both are typed into empty text editors. Pound sign means a backspace character. All right, so we need to apply the backspace character whenever we see it in the string. So after that, we compare if both strings became the same. If that's the case, we return true. In this example, after applying the backspace character, we get the same, so S and T become AC, they both become the same, so we return true. So how can we use only constant space? Well, in order to do that, we need to avoid using a data structure or building a new string. So what we can do is that we can use two pointers. We can use two pointers and we can, we can traverse from the back, from the back to the front, from right to left. Because if by doing that, we can actually keep track of how many pound signs we have seen and we can apply them by skipping the current character. So we're gonna start, we're gonna have a pointer i is gonna iterate from right to left in s and j is gonna iterate from right to left in t. And then we will have count one for the number of pound signs that we have seen in s and count two to keep track of how many pound signs we have seen in t. And then we have to apply the backspace by skipping the character. And at any point, we make sure that if by skipping that character, we see that they they have a mismatch, then we know that they will never become the same. Also, we have to check if if we see a pound sign, we can increment the number of count one. If we see a pound sign in S, if we see a pound sign in T, we increment the count two. And if we don't see a pound sign in either one, we decrement the corresponding count because we, that way we can actually keep track of the number of pound signs that we have seen. And at any point, we check after that that the corresponding i index is equal to the, to the corresponding j index. If that's true, then they both became the same string and we can return true. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have my two indices, so integer i gets a value of s dot length minus one, j gets a value of t dot length minus one, then count one gets a value of zero, and count two gets a value of zero. So index in s, index in t, and count one is for the number of pound signs in s that we have seen so far, count two is the number of pound signs that we have to process in T so far. So we have a while loop, so while I is greater than or equal to zero, or J is greater than or equal to zero. So while we have more characters to process in S, or more characters to process, or more characters left to process in T, we're gonna continue this iteration. Then the first step is to apply the pound signs and keep track of how many pound signs we see. So we check while i is greater than or equal to zero and s that char at i equals equals pound sign or the number of pound signs that I have to apply, that means count one is greater than zero, then I apply the pound sign. So if this character is a pound sign or I have pound signs to apply and I'm within bounds, I have characters left in S, then I have to process that. So first I'm gonna skip this character. I'm gonna say if S the char at I minus minus using the post decrement operator equals equals a pound sign, that means that I have one more pound sign to process or to apply because the current character position i and s is a pound sign, so I have to increment the count of pound signs that I have to that I have to apply. 
so plus plus count one else that means that this character at position i is not a pound sign so i do the post decrement anyway so i skip that character and that's going to be the same as deleting that character that's going to be equivalent to deleting that character just by skipping it but at the same time because it was not a pound sign i apply that backspace so i have to reduce by one the number of pound signs that i have to apply because i already applied this one and i will do the same thing for the t for the t string so i will say while j is greater than or equal to zero and t that char at j equals equals a pound sign or the number of pound signs that i have to apply is more than zero so i have to apply some pound signs then i have to do that so if t that char at j minus minus using the post decrement operator equals equals a pound sign that means that this is one more pound sign so i have to apply i have to increment by one my number of pound signs in t that i have to apply so plus plus count two and by doing the post decrement operator i also skip this pound sign because i already took this pound sign into account down here so after checking that the character position j is a pound sign i keep track of this pound sign i have to apply and i skip this pound sign because i already took care of it by incrementing count two else if i get to the else that means that this is not a pound sign so this is just a regular character and i already apply the backspace by doing the post decrement so i i skip that character too i also skipped it so because i apply because i apply that pound sign i can just decrement the number of pound signs that i have to apply in t because i already applied one more pound sign so minus minus count two then after applying all the pound signs in s and in t i check if the index if either index is less than zero so if i is less than zero or j is less than zero if either index is less than zero i need to make sure that they are the same so return i equals equals j because the only way after applying all the pound signs that the strings became the same thing is that if if you see that either index is already either string has been processed completely the other string also has to be processed completely so they became the same thing after applying all the pound signs in that case i just return true if i equals equals j if i get down here then I'm not oh, I'm not done yet so I I applied all the pound signs so now I have to make sure that the corresponding character in s matches the corresponding character in in, in t because if they don't match that means that those ca that they can never become the same thing because they have to after applying all the pound signs they have to become the same the same string um, at this position i and j respectively so I will say if s the char at i minus minus is not equal to t the char at j minus minus then i just return false and notice that i'm using the post decrement operator here because they have to be the same character after applying all the pound signs so for instance in s when i apply the pound sign to b i delete b and i have a left at the first position here when i apply the pound sign to d i delete d and i have a left at the first position so they they match this a left and this a left they match so this is what i'm checking here and then i have to decrement using the post decrement operator because i already because i already checked that character because those characters are the same I continue processing the other characters by by do by using the post decrement operator so I continue moving backward and at the end of the of the while loop the only case I have to check is that the index I have to be equal to the index J 
if they are the same, that means that they became the same thing. They became the same string. So I will run the code. All right, I will submit my solution. Okay, this is working perfectly. So as I said before, the time complexity is big of m plus n, where m is the length of s and n is the length of t. And the space complexity, we were able to improve the space complexity to big O of 1. So we are only using constant space, only a few extra variables. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.